friends. One of the things I have the most trouble finding for myself are a good pair of shorts. Now I'm really tall, so whenever I try them on somewhere, they're too short or just don't fit right. I've had luck creating shorts out of pants that I own. I don't sew at all, so I always have to find a way to do this without sewing. I've seen for this spring and summer a lot of Bermuda shorts, which I love, and I don't own a pair of those. So in this video, I am going to take you through my process of turning a pair of pants into Bermuda shorts without sewing. <laughs> Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. I bought the pants that I'm using resale for like less than $20. I bought them in the fall. I loved the fit of them. I loved the color, but they were kind of a weird length. I thought they were kind of a strange length. I wore them a little bit this fall and winter with some booties and things, but I really think they will look a lot better as shorts and I'll get a lot more use out of them. Let me just get started doing this. The first step is to figure out how much you have to cut off. So I put them up to where I thought they should hit. Bermuda shorts are supposed to be one inch above the knee and I knew I wanted to cuff them too. So that is where I wanted them to hit and how much I needed to cut off. You will need a good sharp pair of scissors that you only use for sewing, a seam ripper, a pen, and then measuring tape, or you could use a ruler too. I uncuffed the pants so I could see how much I needed to cut off, and I wanted to measure it, and I think in this case it came to something like 16 inches that I wanted to cut off. I next turned them inside out because I'm going to be marking on them. And here's the key. You need to measure from the bottom of the pant up the number of inches you want to cut off. Not from the top of the pant, but from the bottom of the pant up so that it stays nice and even. So I measured on both sides and then I actually draw a line with my pen so that I make sure that I'm going to get a nice good cut. And then of course I go and do that on the other pant leg as well. Now that I have my lines drawn clearly, it's time to just cut. And again, this is where you need that good sharp pair of scissors that you're not cutting paper or anything else with so that it gets a nice, good, clean line. I always like to then fold them together to make sure that they are even and that I didn't mess up in some way. And in this case, it looks like they are actually perfectly even. Next, I decided I wanted to use my seam ripper to fray the ends, the edges a little bit, just so that they would look a little bit better than just that line that isn't frayed. And I know that when I wash them, it'll look better that way. I also was wondering if I ever wanted to wear them a little longer, I could do them with the frayed edge, or if I didn't like the cuffing, I could go back, cut them a little shorter, and just have frayed edges. Once you wash a pair of pants after you've done that with a seam ripper, it looks way better, but you can see they're a little bit frayed here, and again, with the wash, they'll look a lot better. I decided to cuff them before I put them on so that they would be nice and even. I again turn them over and match them up just to make sure they're where they're supposed to be. And voila, success! They looked pretty darn even to me, and I really liked how they looked here. I was pretty happy. Here they are on, and again, they are right the perfect length of one inch above my knee. No sewing required. I'm really happy with how they turned out. It was super easy to do, and I think I'm gonna wear these a ton. They're super comfortable. Uh, they're not too tight, but they're not too loose, and I like the little way that I can cuff them, make them slightly different. Uh, if I want, if I wanted to ever just cut them even shorter and have them frayed like that, I could do it, but I think they look better cuffed. Anyways, that's my really quick process for doing this. Have you tried this kind of thing? Are you going to try it now? Please let me know in the comments below on what you think of them. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.